Okay, so we are in uh, at four, uh, or UE4 as, as it's otherwise known. So what I always do is I just click on this little window here, um, just so that it gives you a bit more of a uh, access in a Windows styly to so you can see the the directory structure. Um, so you want to go up to content, and then we want to make a new folder. Put your name in here. It just means you know where all your stuff is. And what I'm initially going to do is I'm going to drag in the um, Mixamo T pose. In fact, I haven't renamed it, so I'm going to do that now. Lara T pose. Uh, and you have to rename these these uh, animations because otherwise you will not know what has hit you. Right, so I'm just dragging in Lara T pose FBX, and I'm also dragging in the texture. So geometry and skinny weight. So skeletal mesh is going to give it its own skeleton as we bring it in okay so this is important uh, in fact what I'm going to do is uh, so I just wanted to actually show you so this is the third person mode that we're in um, so we've got the third person character here we've got an orbit with the mouse we've got to look up and down with the mouse it's not called look up and down it's called something else tilt and yaw something like that uh, so this is the third person character so you can actually completely replace this character and replace uh, and then it'll inherit all the moves but that is uh, unfortunately relatively complex um, and I do actually use a marketplace plugin to align the skeleton so ignore all of that other than the fact is what we're doing is we're effectively going to use this character and we're going to steal all the exciting under the hood bits um, so selecting that character so what I want to do now as I said before I'm going to drag in if I go to Andy folder yes and then I make a new folder and call it Lara uh, in fact don't think for the amount of stuff we're doing that we actually need a folder so what I'll do is I'll just drag in the lot of T-Pose in the texture okay so it's got a little mesh import mesh uh, this is just dragging in the FBX skeleton ignore that import animations not in this case uh, create new materials yes so, so we see here that we've got uh, the character, so just save all of that. We've got the character again without a texture. Um, okay, so if I go to, is that the mesh? Skeletal mesh, okay. I'm just going to double click that. In fact, just docking the the tab up the top there in fact that texture has in fact not uh, it, it's not created a texture from the actual TR texture so what I'll do is if you just select this is the flat 2d texture select that and then go create material and it should just automatically name it TR texture uh, and so if we save all that again so all I'm doing here is when we didn't have the texture for the character in Mixamo I'm just going to apply it in UE4 so we've got the Lara T-Pose here and you'll see that this is the Lara T-Pose at the minute she's got material 002 applied which is this one which is just white we want TR texture matte uh, so we'll go over to the Lara T-Pose again just this is just another window which is basically showing this character uh, and all the specifications for the character so in theory we should be able to go if I just type in TR TR text in mat and then she should there we are okay so that's basically how you fix it um, materials in unreal so make sure we say that materials in unreal always uh, it always defaults to super shiny um, so I'll just quickly show you a quick way to fix that sort of not really within the context of what we're doing here but just really quickly so the thing that controls the shininess is this thing called roughness um, it's really you know I'm gonna it's kind of giving you an overview of, of all the different windows so double clicking this material here brings up 
this material in this new window again this is all the specifications for this this material and it's got a viewport here you can spin with your left mouse and then you can lose the important bit here that you need to be adjusting um so if we just right click there and this is where you, you this is um effectively visual scripting so this is what you're going to sort of be learning i think you learned some basic blueprinting uh, from the videos I've given you so far. So what you want here is a constant. I just, it's just a constant value that I'm plugging in here. So I've just added a constant and what I'm going to do is plug that into the roughness and if we look over here at the values for the um, the the constant which I've added, it's just a constant, just like a constant number. Uh, if we make that 1 instead of 0 uh, it makes it matte. So one on, if you add a, uh, if you make uh, your roughness value one, it's it's matte. If you make it zero, it's super shiny. Uh, and as you can see, you can click on all of these separate visual scripting aids, uh, and they all give you different values. But really, all you need to know is you plug in a constant, so you can um, you can basically set your roughness at one. So I'll make sure we save that. Uh, okay, so the next thing we want to do is we can see now that uh, Lara is textured. So the next thing we want to do is if I just check my document, we actually want to make a, uh, a character blueprint. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to keep these ones short so that you can go through them slowly. So I'll do that in another video.